Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video, I'm going to talk about Volt TE, LTE networks and 4G networks. There's been a lot of confusion among you guys and I've been getting a lot of questions regarding Volt TE, 4G networks. How is it different? How does Reliance Geo work? Will my existing 4G, uh, uh, what do you say, handset work with Reliance, Volt TE, etc. So I'll try to answer all these questions and I've made some pointers and also I'll talk about the Reliance uh, uh, Geo Join app. Even if your uh, handset is not Volt TE enabled, you can make some voice calls but there are some limitations i'll talk about that and before we jump to this uh, lte which is uh, actually 4g let's talk about uh, the 2g and 3g networks that we have and how it differs with the 4g lte networks that we have or the volte that uh, reliance is using let's first talk about the 2g networks that we had earlier and these 2g networks were primarily designed just for voice because people used to just call that much and data was an afterthought and we didn't have very good speeds with that we had that gprs and edge speeds uh, which were pretty slow thereafter we saw the 3g uh, the speeds and this with 3g again the first priority was for voice calls but it had good data rates and uh, you could get speeds up to 10 uh, 12 megabits but the thing with the 3g networks was that first priority was always for calls and you couldn't simultaneously let's say you're downloading so something and take calls so again priority was given to calls over uh, 3g but this 4g network are very different it's just a data network and everything is data on that so it's a pure data network and due to that we get very high speeds on 4g we, we have seen speeds up to 50 60 megabits also on uh, reliance uh, geo which is a pure 4g uh, network and uh, with traditional uh, there are hybrid networks also with 4g for example airtel uh, what do you say uh, 4g uh, is a sort of a 4g lte network it's not a pure network on uh, totally it relies on 4g for voice calls it actually switches to uh, 3g for example if you have noticed if you've been using airtel uh, 4g uh, whenever you make a call uh, the 4g signal will go out it'll actually switch down to 3g for voice call 3g or even 2g so these are hybrid networks uh, that is known as 4g lte what airtel and other manufacturers uh, other isp uh, mobile providers are using so it's kind of hybrid for data they use uh, 4g uh, but for voice calls they switch back to 3g or 2g but whereas this reliance uh, geo is a pure 4g network for everything it just uses the 4g it doesn't switch to 2g or uh, 3g and uh, regarding volte it is nothing but voice calls that we make on this lte network it's known as lte network that is known as voice over lte is known as volte uh, so it doesn't switch to uh, 3g or 2g networks the reliance geo when you're making voice calls it's over this 4g and it's not that simple at least in india uh, if you have noticed let's say if you have a, a 4g handset for example let's take the example of uh, Recently, I tested this with the Vibe X3 that has 4G support or even the Nexus 6P. It has 4G support. In India, mostly 4G support is on the band of 23 mega, uh, 2300 megahertz and 1800 megahertz. It differs from city to city. And uh, if you even put a Reliance Geo SIM on the Nexus 6P or even the Vibe X3, you will get data. Data will work perfectly fine because even Reliance is using 1800 megahertz band and 2300 megahertz band for this 4G data. They also have another band that is in the range of 800 to 850 and they that is being used uh, for mostly voice. So that's the difference. And generally, if a handset doesn't support Volte, it might not have support for the 800 or 850 megahertz band. So these are radios that physically should be there in the device. And uh, so that is the reason on the Vibe X3 or even the Nexus 6P, if you put a Reliance Geo SIM, data will per work perfectly fine. But you won't get that Volte signal that you get on other handsets which are Volte compatible. For example, I'm using this uh, uh, Zenfone 3. This is Volte certified uh, handset. And if you see closely, I'll just have the screenshot. It says Volte. So this one supports Volte. -E. And uh, you might ask, uh, can I make voice calls? And this is specifically for Reliance uh, Geo Network. Can I make voice calls if my handset does not support uh, Volte? Yeah, you can do that. Reliance has come out with a workaround and uh, they have this app called Geo Join app which actually uh, takes your calls and then it is actually on data it's transmitting 
and you can make the calls but it's not perfect solution because there are some limitations of uh, that one and again uh, some people have been also asking me a lot about if my handset for example i have this 4g handset it does not support volte e uh, can i get volte e support with a software update and the answer is a yes or a no if your handset has uh, uh, support for those particular radio bands for around uh, let's say 800 megahertz 850 megahertz or whatever technically uh, these uh, phone manufacturers can push out a ota update and enable those radios thereafter it will work with the, the volte bands uh, of reliance but again those radios should be actually present it's a hardware thing it's not a software if those radios are not present then simply that uh, magically that uh, what do you say a volte support won't come but you can use the uh, reliance geo app uh, what it essentially is doing is just it's like a VoIP call. That's it. What's it's that's what it's doing. Uh, it's uh, using that uh, app. It's just converting the call. And the, I'll, I'll talk about some of the advantages of Volte over regular calls. Uh, one thing is that as this is a Volte call, it's on the data. It has higher bandwidth, so the call quality is actually really good. And some of the vendors actually in uh, states, etc., for Volte calls, they call it HD calls because the calls are very good. But uh, for uh, to take the advantage of Volte calls, both the handsets should be on the same network. Uh, so again, if uh, you are on uh, the Lance Geo and your friend is on Lance Geo, it will be a pure Volte call, and you can notice the difference. Difference. the call clarity is actually really good and also when you try to connect to the call within a second it actually uh, connects to the call if the other person is also on the same network for example geosim to geosim if you have noticed the calls collect really quickly but again if it's going to some other network for example let's say from your geo to uh, let's say Airtel or Vodafone whatever uh, it will take some time to connect because it's going from your pure data network that is Reliance to uh, the what do you say uh, Airtel network and they have to go through this interconnect which can take time and a lot of call drops are happening because of that so it's migrating so again for pure uh, Volte calls it, both the devices should be on the Volte network but you don't have to worry because this is a seamless thing that happens this interconnect between one provider to other but right now Reliance is having some problems that's why we are having a lot of uh, call drops but that should be rectified uh, again, the next question that I am getting is that one advantage that you have uh, if your device is Volte E supported is that if you have noticed, uh, uh, yeah, you can make calls uh, on even non Volte E device using the uh, Reliance Geo app. I found it not to be 100% reliable to be frank, but it sort of works. But if you have noticed, if you uh, disable mobile data on uh, your uh, what do you say non volte e device for example even uh, this uh, huawei p9 that i was testing uh, worked fine on the lance 4g but it did not have any volte -E support whenever i disabled the mobile data then i can simply uh, not get calls because this is not volte -E supported but if your handset has volte -E support then even if you disable the mobile data then you would get the call so that is one another advantage that you have if uh, your device supports volte you can disable the uh, data network then also you would get voice calls on the reliance uh, network but if you don't have volte and you're relying on apps like geogine if you disable the mobile data then you won't get any calls uh, so that is one more thing and uh, I'm not 100% sure about this because uh, Reliance has clearly mentioned that uh, for voice calls it will be completely free even after January 1st when their commercial services start and I'm assuming if you're using a Volte handset uh, even if you disable the mobile data uh, it works so it will be completely free if you're using a what do you say Volte handset but I'm not very sure if Reliance is going to count uh, if you use applications like geo uh, join etc because they are actually using indirectly data so i'm not 100 percent sure about that but if you are uh, having a volte enabled handsets then yes the voice calls will be free on the reliance uh, network so again i hope this uh, video uh, gives you a lot more info regarding volte e hybrid networks like 4g lt what atel is using but for reliance it's a pure uh, what do you say uh, 4g network uh, it doesn't switch uh, traditionally to 2g or 3g so yes you need a 4g handset 
uh, to uh, for uh, making use of the Reliance, uh, what do you say, uh, Geo network. If you have a 2G or a 3G handset, uh, it will not work on Reliance. And again, uh, if you are planning to opt for uh, Reliance Geo, it's advisable. And if you're buying a new phone, uh, make sure that uh, your new phone supports VoLTE network because calls are just way more superior on VoLTE network compared to uh, the traditional uh, calls that I have uh, tested. So again, guys, I hope this uh, video was helpful. I've also made it another video uh, regarding Reliance uh, Geo commercial plans. I've dissected it so that you get uh, accurate info. Again, link for that video will be in my uh, YouTube show notes. So again, guys, thanks for watching this video. And if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.